Hello everyone, Brian here from Las Vegas Glamour Boudoir. Today I'm going to compare five instant camera slash printers to find out which one is the best. I recently did a behind the scenes boudoir photo shoot that I shot with my Canon R6. It's a great video. I recommend you check it out. The link is in the description. The instant cameras that I used were the Polaroid One Step Plus, the Kodak Step Touch, the Fuji Instax Mini Evo, the Kodak Mini Shot 3 Retro, and the Fuji Instax Wide Printer. During the photo shoot, I used the Canon and transferred the photos to my phone by Bluetooth and would swap to different instant cameras during the same pose. Now let's compare which instant camera has the best looking photos from a boudoir photo shoot. So here we are with our photos from the Polaroid One Step Plus. This was the first shot. Here you can see it looks pretty good. The focus looks decent. The colors are they're not great but they're acceptable. Here's the second shot. This one was taking a little bit further away. The focus is way off. I'm not really impressed with the color so much. Uh, here we go with the third shot. Not really the best. This one was done standing on a stool above the craps table and with this shot I had strobes going where these three I had continuous LED lights so you can see here the flash wasn't strong enough and I completely forgot that I was shooting with these strobes on this one so yeah this one uh, this one really doesn't count but here's the three shots that were pretty decent from it all right next up we have some photos from the Instax Mini I only took a few just like I did with the Polaroid and you can see the very first one was a shot of my hand. Uh, that looks pretty good on the back of the screen here. And there's another accident shot. That one looks good. And that one, the color looks pretty weird. Again, because I was using the strobe, the color is going to be way off where these were more set for daylight. So let's see. Let's go ahead and print that one and see how that comes out. And we'll also print this one. So we'll just print these three photos. I'm not going to do the one on the craps table since I was using the strobes and that one, the colors were uh, way off and then the lighting wasn't so great on it either. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait for these photos to develop. I'm going to use the direct print feature on the Instax from my phone and print this image I took with the Canon R6 and transferred it to the phone that I am going to print from the Evo. So let's go ahead and hit print and we'll take a look at the print quality from a photo that was done with the Canon R6 printed to the Instax Evo. This time I'll just let the photos develop and then just cut right to the end once it's all done. So the photos are done developing. They came out pretty good. The light on it looks decent. The color looks pretty good. Nice focus. This one looks really good. I like all the details still picked up even in the background here. This one that uh, I was much further away in the shot. Uh, here I was m maybe about, I would say maybe three or four feet. This one was would probably be a good 10. Here is the one that was printed off of the phone itself, uh, where these were taken from the Evo. This one was uh, printed to the Evo, and it, it looks pretty good. I would say the quality of it almost looks right up there with this one here. Next we have the Step Touch. 
And on the back of here, you can see the one, two, three, four photos that I shot. Uh, this is the one from the craps table and uh, same problem here. You can see since it was with the strobe, the image isn't lit very well, but considering the flash on here, it looks like they actually did a pretty good job of lighting it. These photos here we're taking from this camera. I, I really like the back. So the uh, image on is really nice. Let me go ahead and print these since these were like the same ones that we already did with the other cameras. So let's go ahead and print that. Let's see how this one comes out. that one not too bad looks like the the colors are decent looks like they're a little bit of uh, streaking there in the color but uh, that's the that one looks pretty good this is on the codex zinc paper which is their zero ink paper so this uh, uh, photo there's no ink on it and then uh, it's also can be used as a sticker the back can peel off so you can also use this as a sticker, which is pretty uh, cool about these photos. Let's go ahead and print the second one we did here. Cool thing about this uh, camera slash printer is that the once it comes out, it's already done. So you don't have to wait for the photo to develop it's already printed and, and done for you so there's no waiting there uh, the only time you might have to wait for the photo would be is if the uh, unit's cold it, it might take a minute for it to, to heat up but other than that uh, these come out uh, ready to go so this photo also looks pretty decent very blue though lots of blue or that should be kind of a grayish color and then let's go one more uh, we'll do this one, I think it was. We did it with the other. So let's go ahead and print that one as well. So again, that one, that one looks pretty nice, but yeah, it, it did come out quite blue. I'm gonna go ahead and sign into the app. So it gives you a selection of galleries, the uh, photos from the gallery. These are some that I sent from the Canon R6 directly to the phone here. So let me go ahead and I'll send the one that we've already done before. So that's this photo here. So let's go print. And it's pretty much the same layout. I like that this one actually gives you the full crop. Let me go ahead and print that. There we go. Now this photo that's printing was one that was taken from the Canon R6, not directly from the Kodak here. This one actually looks pretty good. I, there's lots of uh, detail that you can see. Colors look pretty decent, but this was uh, taken from the Canon R6 and sent to my cell phone, which was in turn sent to the Kodak Step 1 Touch because this has the touch screen on the back. But yeah, these uh, photos look pretty good with the zinc paper. All right, next up we have the Kodak Mini Shot 3. This is a pretty cool looking camera. Um, fortunately, this is just plastic. I wish it was more like a fake leather or something like that to give it some grip, but unfortunately it is pretty smooth. This camera is quite cool. 
because I can still take photos from the camera and print them wirelessly from my phone as well. The first shot that I did printed fine. It was my very first shot. It printed great and then I think the camera either auto shut off because it wasn't being used for a while and then when I turned it back on there was no photos on it so yeah it was uh, pretty upsetting. The screen on the back is not great at all very tiny i do have one photo that i took this was the first one out of it and i tell you what when I, I see this photo i thought this came from my canon r6 this is what printed out of it and that looks pretty amazing i'm gonna go ahead and send another one to this so here's the photo from the phone i'm gonna go ahead and send that over to the mini shot three so it's saying it's preparing this one's pretty cool because it does four different steps so you can see it's sending it now and it'll tell you what it's doing so right now it's doing the yellow now it's applying the magenta And then finally the uh, last coat, which is to protect it. It's like a clear coat. So then it's, it's all done. Uh, this one also, just like the one-step touch, it, uh, this one doesn't use zinc paper, but once it's, it's finished printing, it, it's completely done. So you can see this photo is also, this one looks really great. There are three inch squares. This bottom part can be uh, cut off or broke off. It just bends and you can peel it off to make it a square. Let me do one more. This time I'm going to turn it over so you can see the different processes. And we'll see how that one comes out. colors on there look amazing. I gotta tell you, even from the camera itself and not being transferred to the printer, these photos, I can't tell the difference as far as quality wise. Uh, this one might be a little more reddish, but uh, other than that, the colors look great, the details great. It's just incredibly sharp as far as print wise. You probably can't see it well on the camera, but there's almost like a, a metallic look to the print. If you ever ordered prints and had the metallic paper, this almost kind of looks like it. Just not as not as much as you would normally see on the metallic paper, but there's a slight, almost like metallic look underneath the print. These look really good. I'm very impressed with those. Next we have the Fuji Instax Wide Printer. Now this does not have any type of camera with it. It is just a printer that prints the Instax Wide film. So these prints that are coming out of here were coming from the Canon R6 that I had sent to the phone. And then the phone is going to send the prints to this printer here. This was one we kind of did earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that to the printer. Will it 
that sit here and develop. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick a, a different photo. This is one that we already did with the Kodak Mini Shot 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this one to the printer as well. We'll go ahead and do one more. So we'll go ahead and let that develop. Prints are almost done. This one here looks pretty good. Even though this is on a uh, instant print, you can still see quite a bit of detail. Colors not so great, but I, I think they're pretty, pretty decent though. This one looks good as well. I, I kind of like how the overall look is. This one still might be developing a little bit. We'll see if that uh, gets any better afterwards, but uh, I'm impressed with the uh, Instax wide photos from the printer. All right, results time. Let's see who had the best looking print. So here we have the Polaroid One Step Plus, the Kodak Step Touch, the Fuji Instax Evo, the Kodak Mini Shot 3, and the Fuji Instax Wide. As far as my favorite, I really like the way the Kodak Mini Shot 3 looks. Just the color, the detail, everything looks really nice on there. That is just beautiful to me. Coming in second, I think we'll go with the Polaroid One Step Plus. This one looks really nice. The focus is really good on there. The colors aren't great, but it just has that uh, Polaroid look that uh, really stands out. That it, it's. If I didn't see this one here, I would say this was probably my favorite. Coming in third is the Instax Wide printer, and then these two, not really a big fan of either. So I think we'll go with the Kodak Mini Shot 3. So our next set of photos, One Step Plus, the Step Touch, Mini Evo, Kodak Mini Shot 3, and the Instax Wide. I have to say again, the photo I like the best is the Kodak Mini Shot 3. This one is just beautiful. I think the colors and the detail, everything on here looks great. Coming up second is, it's kind of hard to say. I think maybe I would go with the Instax Wide. The Mini Evo looks nice as well. Maybe I like this better because it's a bigger picture. But they're both okay to me. But for sure that, number one, uh, this one was just out of focus because of the distance I was at. It just doesn't look good. The Step Touch is okay. It's, it's definitely not great, but... For sure, I would go with the, the Mini Shot 3 on this one. Next, this was done on the craps table, which had the strobes on. So the this photo, well, I'll, I'll show it anyway, but it's not the same shot. But yeah, that one didn't turn out. These all were printed directly from my cell phone, which had the uh, shot from the Canon R6 sent to it. So here is the Step Touch, the Instax Mini Evo, Kodak Mini Shot 3, and the Instax Wide. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go again with the Kodak Mini Shot 3. This just looks amazing. The colors, the details, everything is there. So I think that would be my favorite. Surprisingly for the second, I think I'm gonna go with the Step Touch on this one. I kind of like the, uh, the darkness, the contrast on this one. This one looks re really nice. So let's see, these two, I can't decide really. Maybe, uh, once again, the Instax wide because it's a bigger photo. The colors aren't so great on it where this one looks a little more realistic. But definitely the Kodak Mini Shot 3, I believe, looks the best. All right, and these next three were shot directly from the camera. This photo is from the Polaroid One Step. 
Step Touch, Instax Mini Evo. This camera here, this is when it had a problem. I don't know what happened, but it turned off. I didn't want to waste time waiting for it to start up. I lost the picture. I, I don't know. There was some issue with this one where it did not take the shot. I thought I had it saved, but once it turned off, it deleted all the photos. So this one doesn't have it. But this one, not so great. It's a bit blurry. Don't care for that so much. So I think out of these two, I almost like the Kodak Step Touch again. This one, the colors I'm not a fan of. This one maybe just because the print is just a little bit bigger. They say size matters, but yeah, this is, uh, I think I'll go with that one just because it might be a little bit bigger. It looks a little better to me as well. All right, so there you have it. These are the best photos, in my opinion, from the cameras, and I think it's pretty much obvious they, my favorite from this was the Kodak Mini Shot 3. All of the photos that were printed from the printer off of the cell phone came out looking amazing. There was this other picture that this one was actually taken from the camera itself, the 10 megapixel camera, and printed directly right after the shot, and uh, this one looks this one looks really amazing to me so yeah i would definitely say out of these instant camera printers the kodak mini shot 3 looks the best you can get a 60 count pack box of the prints for i believe i think i bought it from 20 dollars from the kodak store the only issue is it took a month for me to get that box of print paper to my house so yeah i don't i don't know what took so long but you really can't find these in the store you pretty much have to buy it on amazon or directly through kodak and they, it took quite a while to get those but other than that, I think this camera was on sale for $99. The only drawback it is does take a little bit of time for the four passes of the print to come out. But uh, once they do come out, they really look great. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you enjoyed what I did, please like and subscribe. That helps me want to make some more videos. So thanks a lot, and I appreciate you. Thanks.